sent a message by somebody where they are saying people are Senator dropping Kibarotich. dead. Mr. Speaker. I'm giving you the... Mr. Speaker, I was given two minutes and mind. Senator Cherarge should give me time to no, finish. No. Actually, Mr. Speaker. You have three more minutes to Three finish. more minutes, Mr. Yeah, Speaker. Mind. Thank you. Senator Cherarge, what is it? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, issues of fertilizer. We have four months. Mr. Speaker, can you tell Cherarge to sit down? I give him the opportunity to uh, prosecute his point of order. You know, you are two senior members of this house, and you know one another very much. But he's interrupting. So, Senator Chaleo, we want really to know, why, between the two of you, yes. every time you speak, she puts a point of order. <laughs> every time she is on the floor, you put a point of order. Mr. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise uh, standing order 101, uh, because Senator Dulo is misleading the house. You remember this government is only less than 30 days and uh, arguing that whether these procurement of fertilizers were done, she is aware that the government exists and I'm very sorry because it looks like uh, Senator Dulo being in opposition uh, is making her make some statements that she doesn't even believe in it. Mr. Speaker, the country should be patient. 28 days is not even enough to make a baby, Mr. Speaker. So even pregnancy takes nine months, Mr. Speaker. So Mr. Speaker, under Article under 101, the standing order 101, Senator Dulo should not introduce the points of argument in a uh, submission, Mr. Speaker, because if she wants a substantive reply, then she knows the procedure that needs to be done. <laughs> Proceed, Senator Dulo. Mr. Speaker, I think um, Senator Cherarge should really be serious about the point of order he's raising. Because if I want to challenge the issues of fertilizer, it's not a priority for us today. We need food on the table. So if you want to tell me that uh, food is not a priority, we wait for three more months for us to use fertilizer. That is not a solution to our problems. No, I don't need point of information. I don't want to be informed, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Senator Fatumo Luro, kindly finish up, finish up. I, I, I am finishing, I am finishing, finishing up, up, Mr. Yes. Speaker, thank you. The issues of judiciary given more resource allocation, Mr. Speaker. For me, that is not a priority. What I would have expected the president to do is to increase county government budgetary allocation from 15 to 35% or 40%. That is where we need that money. It's not in judiciary. Judiciary, in as much as we say they are fighting corruption, they are the most corrupt in this country. And I dare say that. Mr. Speaker, from the statement of the president when he says that he has increased resource to judiciary and i'm sad to say this the other day we've seen judges queuing with us receiving the president this is not the institution the institution is at the high court judiciary for the last 10 years i've been in this house i've never seen cj coming and queuing with us what does that mean what do kenyans say about that on top of that, they are given increased resource allocation. It's a question mark that we need to ask ourselves. And Kenyans are saying, Mr. Speaker, I am finishing. I am finishing, Mr. Speaker. I am finishing, Mr. Your Speaker. Your time is up, Senator Duro. Kindly, your time Mr. is up. Mr. Speaker. Your time is up. <laughs> okay, let us, uh, next is... Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, I am concluding. And Senator Cherarge and Senator Kinyua, allow me yes, to finish. Uh, finally, leader. finally, Mr. Speaker. Point of order from the majority leader. To Leah Fatuma. Mr. Speaker, I'd wish, to, I'd wish to understand Senator Fatuma Dulo's line of thinking. Is it a submission that we have such fecal characters in the office of the Chief Justice and Deputy Chief Justice? Such that a simple act of honor, just receiving a president in parliament, will alter their thinking in how they run the judiciary of this republic? 
Secondly, Mr. Mr. Speaker, is it also her submission that we shouldn't, as Parliament, team up with the executive in increasing funding to the judiciary so that there is access to justice, including in her own county of Isiolo, where when we went for a campaign, the residents of Isiolo were pleading that they need a high court or even a court of appeal built in our county. How are we going to achieve that if there are senators here on the floor saying that we shouldn't increase the allocation to the judiciary? I want to understand that, Mr. Speaker.